Not to be confused with block editor action and filter hooks, the block editor also has something called the block hooks API. This API provides a way to automatically insert your block next to all instances of a specific block in block-based templates, template parts, and patterns of a WordPress theme. In this lesson, you'll learn about the specific requirements needed in order to use the block hooks API and how to use it to automatically insert a block next to all instances of the target block. In order to use the block hooks API, you need to create a dynamic block, not a static one. A dynamic block is one where the block's structure and functionality is built on the fly using PHP when the block is rendered on the front end. In the lesson on static versus dynamic blocks in the beginner WordPress developer learning pathway, you learned how to convert a static block to a dynamic one by creating a render.php file to generate the block's output when a front end request is made for a postal page that includes the block. The render.php file is configured in the block metadata in the block.json file, and the block itself therefore doesn't need a save function. If you don't have a dynamic block handy, you can download one from the WordPress training team's GitHub repository called dynamic copyright date block. Once you have the block installed, navigate to the block directory in your terminal, install the dependencies, and build the block. So we'll change to the WP content plugins directory and find the dynamic copyright date block. Run npm install to install all the required dependencies. And then run npm start to start the development server. Once the plugin is active, you will be able to add the block to a post or page that displays a copyright text and a date wherever you need it. You will see that the block code contains a render.php file in the source directory, which handles the block output. To register a block hook, you set the block hooks property on the block metadata. This can be done in a few ways, but for the dynamic copyright date block, it can be added to the block.json file. Open the block.json file in the dynamic copyright date block directory and add the following code to the block metadata. So block hooks. And we'll say core post content. And we'll add it after. This code registers a block hook for this block that will insert the block after all instances of the core post content block. In this example, the post content block is the target block. It uses a JSON object with the block name as the key and the position as the value. With this in place, run the build step again. Then browse to any post or page on the front end. You should see the dynamic copyright date block automatically inserted after the core post content block. You can add multiple block hooks to a target block by adding more key value pairs in the block hooks object. For example, to add the block before the core post content block, you could add another key value pair to the block hooks object. So core post content before. You'll notice that the value for the second key value pair is before, which is another of the possible positions you can set for a block hook. There are a total of four positions you can set for a block hook. Before, which will inject before the target block. After, which injects after the target block. First child, which injects before the first inner block of a target container block. And last child, which injects after the last inner block of the target container block. The first child and last child positions are useful when the target block contains multiple inner blocks. For example, the query loop block. Creating a block hook is not just limited to setting it in the block.json file. You can also hook into the block type metadata filter to add a block hook to the block's metadata using PHP. Here, the dynamic block type metadata callback function accepts the block metadata array as an argument and checks if the name property is the one you want to add the block hook to. If it is, it adds the block hook to the block metadata. This is useful if you want to create a block hook for a block that is not part of your plugin. 
There are other filters like the hook blocked. <clears throat> there are other filters like the hooked block types and hooked block filter that allow you to modify the block hook settings. There's even a variant of the hooked block filter that allows you to modify the block hook settings for a specific block. It's important to note that these hooked blocks will only be implemented at the theme level of a WordPress site. So the hooked blocks are only inserted into templates, template parts, and patterns. For example, if you edit a postal page, you will notice that the hooked block doesn't appear in the content area, but it does when you preview or view the content on the front end. Additionally, as discussed, block hooks only work for dynamic blocks, not static ones. This is because the block's save function will not have been called when the block is inserted, meaning the block's output will not be available to be inserted into the content. For further reading, there is a short introduction to the Block Hooks API in the Metadata in Block JSON Reference Guide if you scroll down to the Block Hooks section. The official documentation for how to use Block Hooks can be found in the Block Registration Reference Guide under Block Hooks. Another great resource is the developer blog post titled Exploring the Block Hooks API in WordPress 6.5, which provides an overview of the Block Hooks API and examples of how to use it.